Greetings and welcome to the channel. My name is Thorkir and today we're going to be taking a quick look at Procreate. Let's get started. Starting off, we go into the gallery view. The gallery view is essentially where you see all of the drawings that you have been creating. If you want to open up a drawing, you tap on it. Simple as that. If you want to create a drawing, you tap on the plus icon in the top right corner. And there you can select screen size, which is basically just a typical canvas. There are other options here, which are special aspect ratio uh, canvases, but we won't go into those right now. Starting off, you can draw. If you have an Apple Pencil, you can have it so that if you draw lightly, it creates thin lines. And if you press down, it goes really thick. And these are all brushes that you can actually uh, customize. You can customize pretty much every single aspect of the experience of using the brushes. It's fantastic, but that's a topic for another video. Let's get started in the gallery view. So how do you operate this view? So essentially you can swipe to the right and you can either delete, duplicate or share. So let's say that you want to share three photos. You swipe to the right and it selects the photo like so. And then you can press on the share and you can save it or export it to any of the available formats. If you want to create a folder, what you do is you tap on one drawing and you drag it onto another drawing and there it is, you create a folder. If you want to rename something, tap on it, rename it. It's all pretty intuitive when it comes to the general usability of the application. So let's go right into some drawing. Let's take this one for example. Now starting off, very important. You draw and you can tap. Tap with two fingers is undo. Tap with three fingers is redo. Now, if you, for example, want to copy something, let's say we want to copy this. We swipe down with three fingers and we get this pop-up right here. And it says cut, copy, or paste. We can copy this and we can drag down again and paste it. Now we have a separate layer that has just what we have selected pasted. So let's get started on the interface. Starting from the top right, we have the color wheel. And essentially, if you drag here, you can select the color. If you drag it up and down, you select the brightness. And if you drag it from right, left to right, uh, you select the saturation of the color. So if you want it very saturated, you drag it up to the bottom right corner over here. If you want it completely white, desaturated, you go here if you want it black. So that's the color wheel. Let's look at the palettes. The palettes are essentially just a collection of colors. Now if you want to create a new palette, click on the plus icon, tap into it or swipe, yeah, swipe. Uh, if you want to save this color, for example, tap on this, any of the boxes right here, and it saves it. And so you tap on the squares to create, you can tap on them to delete. If you hold them, uh, you see it picks it up and you can throw it away. <laughs> so if you want to get rid of this one, you tap on it and you throw it away. Pretty cool. So let's go to the next one. Layers. Layers are very important and we can go into very much detail on the specifics on how you configure each layer and, and what you can do within the layer options. But just think of it as simple Photoshop layers. You can paste one over the other, have one underneath. You can change the opacity. You can change the way that the layer interacts with the layer underneath, make it so that it, it adds or subtracts brightness or or color or saturation or whatever you want. You can have the option of doing that here. Play around with this and you can see what the whole thing is about here. If, we, if you want to go into more detail on the layer uh, aspect of things, uh, I will make a video on that. This is the eraser tool, pretty self-explanatory. You erase with it. You have brushes for the eraser, so you can actually specify precisely how you want it to erase. If you want it to grow, 
if you want it to be soft, like a soft brush or whatever you want. You have the smudge tool, which essentially just drags the pixels uh, and smudges them. Just think about just smudging them with your finger. Then you have the painting tool or drawing tool. So these are the brushes. Um, you're going to see a lot of brushes that you can choose from. Um, if you want to check out any more brushes, you swipe the little thing over here. Tap on any one of those and you see the selection underneath. Now if you want to edit a brush, let's say that you don't want the grid to be this small. Let me change the color of it so you see. Let's say you don't want the grid to be this small. Let's say you want it to be a bit bigger. So you tap on it and it goes into edit mode on that brush. So what you can do there is, let's say, change the scale of the grain. And there you can see we changed the size of the brush, not specifically the brush, but the grain of the brush. So you can go into very much detail on specifically how you want things to interact and and behave inside the program, which is very, very cool. Now, at some point you want to move things around. So for that, we have a selection tool. Tap on that and you can rotate and do whatever you want with that. You can tap on the magnetic selection and that essentially keeps it within the aspect ratio. And if you look down again, we see a couple of selections over here. This is mirroring horizontal, this is mirroring vertical, this is rotate, this is full size, just make it go completely to the edges. And well, of course you have undo and, and redo. So there are very cool things that you can do uh, using the selection tool and layers in combination to make things behave the way you want. There's so much to actually say about all of these, but I'm just going to be doing a quick introduction here. So at any point, if you want to learn anything more, just let me know in the comments. Selection tool. Very simple. Tap on it, go into freehand mode, and that allows you to select specifically what you draw with your freehand. Go to the selection tool and you can pick up the selection that you created. But let's say that you want to select just this loop right here, just the white thing inside of the edges right here. You don't want to go <laughs> with the brush and manually have to color this in. It's going to take a long time. So what I would advise you to do is click the selection tool, go to automatic, uh, be sure to select the appropriate layer, which should be, let's see, it should be this one over here. So we go into the selection tool. And there we go. We selected that portion right there. Now you see that it's doing a weird thing. It's not selecting all the way to the edges. Now this is the tolerance level. So what you can do there is as you're selecting, you can drag, you can hold the Apple pencil and drag and that increases the tolerance and you see, okay, I can't go all the way here because it's going to select the next section. So we're going to leave it about there. And there we go. We have our selection now. And if you want to color in just this selection, you can simply do so. Let's select the brush that makes more sense here. There we go. Now I've colored in just this section. Pretty cool. Now the next tool is the effects tool or adjustments tool. And in here you can do all sorts of beautiful things. You can change the opacity, uh, change the blur so it becomes nice and blurry like that. We can give it a motion blur effect. You can see it goes into this kind of nice looking motion blur mode. And if you rotate it with two fingers tapped, you can change the direction of the blur. So that it's exactly like you want it, like, like so. Now the adjustments section, uh, there's a lot to go over here. So I'm just going to let you go ahead and play around with these settings. If there's anything specific that can, uh, you know, is counterintuitive or anything that you would like me to clarify, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to take a look at that. The final one is the settings or actions and we have 
again there's a lot to go over here so i won't uh, bore you with the details in this video now there's so much more to tell you about procreate there's definitely not enough time for me to go over it in one video so if there's anything that you want to learn more about let me know in the comments down below i'll be sure to take a look at it until then i will see you in the next video thank you for watching Thank you.